All right, quiet on the set. <laughs> Hi everybody, Robert Jones for Installer Parts. Today we're going to talk about and do an installation for the TV corner wall mount for 37 to 65 inch flat panel displays. For this install you will need a power drill, a 3 16th inch or 4.5 millimeter drill bit, a metric socket wrench, blue tape, a tape measure, a Phillips screwdriver medium or large, a flathead screwdriver medium or large, a pencil, a level, and a stud finder is very helpful. Open the box and inspect all the products, ensuring that everything is there. Make sure to find the instructions. Alright you guys, this is step one. Determine where on the wall in the corner you're going to put your TV mount. So, I got this big guy here. I've determined that our TV is going to go approximately here. This will allow us to have tilt and swivel. And so, I've marked it on the wall. And let me show you how to do that. Alright you guys, we're here at the wall. I've already marked ours out, but let me tell you how I got to this place. So, I'm going to use a stud finder, and I'm going to find the edges of the stud in the wall so we know we're going to drill in. Now, you need to be sure that there is no water or electricity running through the place where you're going to mount yours. These are pretty big bolts, and you don't want to hit a power line or a pipe. Okay, so here we go. I'm using a stud finder. You simply slide it across. Shows you where the edge of the stud is on that side, and again, on that side. So that's how we determined where these two lines are. I then just drew the perpendicular line. Here's a hot tip that's not in the instructions that could help you out a lot. I've taken a piece of paper and I've drawn around it and I made myself a little bit of a form here. So I've determined that this is the size of the mount that's going to go on the wall. I've also determined where the holes are for the drilling that's going to be putting the mount into the wall. This is a lot easier to hold up to the wall and mark than it is trying to hold that big giant thing up here. So. Once you've got your studs marked and you know the location of where this is going to go, you can transfer that to both walls as I've done here. You then want to make sure that you're going to be drilling right into the middle of the stud. Then you can take your template, you can line it up over where you're going to put the top screw, and then you can mark where the other ones are going to be right on the wall. And marked out where the holes are going to be. Voila! We now know where to drill. Alright you guys. I got my drill here, we're ready to go. We've got a quarter inch drill bit on here, which is six millimeters, and now we're gonna drill into the wall, right into the stud, about three and a half inches or 90 millimeters. All right, let's do it. Professional. Now we can just simply take off the tape and our wall is nice underneath. Oh, look at that. Okay guys, we've got our holes drilled here. I just want to show you, I'm just using a regular white eraser and you can take your pencil marks off the wall. Look at that, nice and clean. All right you guys, we've got the holes drilled over here. We've got our giant screws to bolt this into the wall. Let's just put it up here. I'm holding this on my shoulder. You could definitely use a friend right about here now. And I'm going to start piloting this in. All right, we've got our electric ready to go. All right, I'm just going to put that in a little bit and then I'm going to attach the top one on here so I don't have to have it resting on my shoulder. All right, let's get the other one in. As you can see, my bolt is not completely in. I want to get the other ones at least piloted in, and then we can get it straightened, and then we'll tighten it down tight. Okay you guys, we've gotten our bolts in pretty much most of the way. Now we're just going to make sure that this is lined up the way we want it and I'm going to use a socket wrench to tighten these down completely. Okay. 
All right, you guys, we've got our TV mount up here in the corner. You can see this is a very strong model. Once you get it up here, you're going to want to level out the head here. So built in is a tiny little level here. You can see the bubble there. Once you've got it on level where you want it to be, you can just tighten up the screws on either side and you'll keep it right in plane. Choose the proper screw that fits the holes on your TV and test for depth. If the screw bottoms out, you may need to add a washer or two so that the rail will be tight against the TV. Align the rails on the back of your TV, using the proper screws, spacers, and any washers you may need to attach the rails evenly. For my TV, I did not require any washers. Please check the diagram in the instructions for more detailed explanations and drawings. Be sure to tighten the screws snugly as the entire weight of the TV is on these four points. Okay, you guys, now's the time. So we've got our rails on the back of the TV as we showed you how to put those on. Now remember, the hooks are gonna go up. The hooks are gonna go on the top rail of this rack here. So let's just turn this around and pop it on. Just like that. All right, you guys, I'm here behind the TV. If you'll remember that on the mounting bar, there are some screws. You can't see it on camera right now, but it's right here, and there's another one right here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna tighten these up onto the rail here, which is going to secure the TV. Boom, just like that, TV is secured. Just gonna do the other side. And just like that, TV is secured onto the bar. All right, let's get to the right tilt. Okay, now you're gonna determine where the tilt is gonna be. For us, we're gonna have it almost perpendicular. So, got it in place, and there's a knob right here. Just simply tighten this down. And your TV is secure this way. All right, let's get it in place. All right, you guys, now that our TV is secured and everything else ready, before we put it into final place, now is the time to do your cord management. Go ahead and hook up your HDMI, your coax cables, your gaming consoles, what other kind of goodies you got. Click it in here, get it tight, and then we'll move the TV into position. All right, our TV is ready. All of our cables are hooked up. We don't have any today, but you might. Okay, now we just swivel it into place. Check the tilt. Check the angle, and you're good to go. Hey, nice and clean and shiny. What a great install, huh? Look at that, you guys. Uh, we are installed nice and tight to the wall. You can move it any angle you like, and your TV is going to be secure. I hope this installation was helpful. See you again soon. Bye. All right, you guys, you should be good to go. Just to recap, we inventoried all the items in the box and gathered up the supplies we needed for our installation. We found the studs and marked the walls. Then we placed our mounting plate and made sure it was level. We marked where our bolts were going to go and then pre-drilled the pilot holes. Then we attached the main mounting arm assembly to the wall, securing it tightly with the wall screws. We figured out which screws we needed to attach the rails to the back of our TV and connected them to the back. Then we married the TV to the rails onto the mounting plate and into the corner mounting rack. We tightened up the screws on the rails, securing it to the rack. We plugged in our cables and checked the angle, securing it with a locking nut. Lastly, we moved the TV into place. Today we did an installation into wood studded walls. Now, should your location have masonry or brick, our instruction manual that's in the box will also show you how to do that. I'm Robert Jones for Installer Parts. Subscribe, more, more videos, dancing, video. Come on back and subscribe. This YouTube channel can only get better.